Avod Perak Bet Mishnah Hey Fifth Mishnah in the second chapter of Masechet Avot. Who Haya Omer? He used to say. This is remember we're continuing with Hillel, who we stopped in the middle of. We start in the middle after Raman Gamliel. Okay, who Haya Omer? He used to say, Ein Bur Yerechei. A Bur is someone who is an ignoramus, a total ignoramus. So the ignoramus cannot be Yerechei, uh, a person who fears sin. We're going to see what the Raman calls each of these. Reg Barduner says, Reg we call the empty of everything. He doesn't know how to even how to conduct business. Okay, is worse than an Amahara. So a boor is if it's someone who doesn't even know how to conduct his own personal affairs, he cannot be fear of sin. Below Amharitz Chasid. An Amaritz knows how to do um how to do um baki betiv masa umatan. Okay, he knows how to do business, but he can't be a chasid. He can be you can have fear if you're an Amaritz. But you're not going to be a chassid, a righteous person. Let's look at the Rambam for a second. Okay, the Rambam simply says, Kobur is a boor who she'en lo chachma v'lo midot. He has no wisdom and no midot, no attributes. Ramaaretz, who she'en lo ma'alot sichliot. Ma'alot sichliot are, 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 are attributes of intelligence, but not attributes of intelligence, more attributes of, of uh, fine, finer attributes of a person who is a, a, a thinking person. Av yu lo ktat ma'alot amidot, but yes, some ma'alot amidot, some of the behavioral attributes, okay? Um, the person who's a baishan, a person who's easily embarrassed, will never learn anything. Why? Because you're embarrassed to ask if you don't understand. Person, you want to learn something, if you didn't understand, you say, I'm sorry, I don't understand. Can you please tell me that? Can you please explain it to me? And they're more often, almost always, happy to tell you. If you ask in the right way. Nor could a kaptan, a kaptan is someone who, is, who always comes down on other people. I never remember how to translate. Lakpid means to, to um, let me think for a second. Right here, there isn't one good word for it. Strict or meticulous or an impatient person. I mean, what do you mean you don't understand? A kaptan is someone, so that can't, person can't be a teacher. You have to be patient. tamidim, someone who is strict, impatient with his students. When they ask him, you will never teach appropriately. You have to be uh, uh, patient in instruction to your students. Okay? And, and not every person, or every person who is not who is involved in increasingly or overly in business, machim means in Torah. Why? Moshe Rabbeinu said that the Torah he is not Me'ever Layam on the other side of the sea. And at Tzuar Metsuyah, Layam. So if the Torah is not the Ever Ayam, so those people have to travel all the time for business. They can't study. They're not able to focus on their studies. Rabbeinu Yonah says it means one who is engaged in his business. Kol Hayom, Kol Hamar There's impossible for a person. He makes his Torah his, his he says his Avodah uh, Keva and his Torah Arai. He'll never become smart. But it's really interesting. I mean, if you look at the language of the, of the, of the Mishnah, it says, Not every person who's Marbe Bishkara Machkim will become intelligent. So you can read it another way. In a place where there are no men, uh, strive to be, to be a man. Very, uh, you get a very, very common phrase. It can be in- interpreted one of two ways. The Bartunura says, Umakam she'en anashim le'shev barosh. And when there's no, if there's no leaders, he's try to be a leader. Meaning, if there's nobody, oh, nobody's on the stature to be a leader. No, he's to be a leader. Rambam says it a different way. Okay, when there are, when there aren't she'en anashim chachamim, she'il meducha. If you have no people, if, if there's a place, okay, where there, are, where, there are, where there's no people to teach you, then teach yourself. Okay, to struggle, meaning if there's nobody there, you should do your best and become the best person you can be. We'll stop here. As we always do, dedicate our learning. Remember me, my father, Rav, Simcha, Have a great day.